This is a short tutorial on how to do an MV RAM clear on a GX60 MCR3 combination. Um, we're going to do a hard reset. Uh, we would do that when we suspected there was a uh, communication support issue on the MCR3. So, first thing we need to do is determine whether it's a um, uh, what size the memory card is in the system because that dictates the sequence and we're going to go through a 2 gig system. I'll show you how to discover whether it's a 2 gig, gig system. We would exit 3DMC, go to my computer, select the C drive, file properties and here we see capacity 2.047 2, 2 gigabyte so this is the system that we'll be you know, showing you today. So from here, we don't need to go back into 3DMC. We would shut the system down because you have to do it on a power cycle as it's powering up. So just give that a moment. Once it's powered down, we need to hold the function key down. Now, if it was a dual port system, we would hold both function keys down. Just hold your fingers down here and hit the green power up button and you watch the flashing lights as soon as it goes red after the green right now we let go and that uh, is now we can see it's not selecting it'll start picking satellites straight away but it doesn't select many and it will cycle through when it comes back in to 3DMC we can check we'll go into the satellite screen and we'll check to see You'll probably see it's picking maybe five or six satellites up straight away. But if it was seeing, uh, say, 15 or 18 or 20 satellites straight away, you can pretty well be certain you've not done it correctly. Um, the other thing is there is an almanac we can check. If it's picked up that information straight away, then you've certainly not done it correctly. So we'll check all that as it's powered up. Okay, so we're back up. So you can see it's waiting for satellites. So we know we've done it right. You click on the screen, bottom left hand corner, GPS info, and select satellites. So it's only showing one at the moment. It will start picking up more as we go along. And on the top tabs here, if we go to the planning tab, there's no, there will, there will be spikes and troughs here um, showing the, um, uh, the almanac on the, the, the timing and, and um, projected accuracies so we've got none of that so we can assume correctly that we've done it the right way